Hi, my name is Dimitri and in this video I'll show you how you can track progress on projects and how you can track and forecast time and budget spending. Projects in Clockify are a way to categorize tracked time. To be able to track time on projects, we first need to create them. You can create a project while tracking time, like this, or go to the projects in the sidebar and then click on the Create New Project button. Type in a project name, assign it to a client if it has one, choose its custom color, and if you want everyone to see and track time on it, you can mark it as public. Now the project is created and you can use it to record time on it and track progress. To additionally customize project settings and add tasks to it, click on the project. First, you can add tasks for this project to more closely track progress on the project, and then assign it to specific people. When the task is assigned to someone, only that person or group will be able to track time on it. Time tracking integration with other project management tools via the browser extension can also create tasks if you enable it in settings and if you have the permission to create them. In the Access tab, you can control who can access projects. Public means everyone can select and track time on it, and if you make it private, you'll then need to add members or groups to the project so that they can track time on it. In that case, you can add specific people or groups by clicking on Add Members and then marking the checkbox next to the relevant people or groups. You can also give someone the project manager role for this project by clicking here. Then that person will manage all things related to their project, including who it's assigned to, task creation, and seeing time entries on the project. You can control who can create tasks and projects in the workspace settings. The Note tab lets you keep additional information on projects, such as specific instructions for tasks or client demands. You can add links or headlines using markdown notation like this. In the Settings tab, you can revisit this information and set up whether the time tracked on the project will be billable or non-billable. Here you can also add custom fields for this project, so that they show up when your users select it. You can even pre-fill some of them with the default value here. If you want to set all your newly created projects as billable or private, you can go to the workspace settings and set the defaults here. Besides that, when you create a project, set its tasks and settings, you can mark it as a template and use it to quickly create future projects based on this one as a reference. When you're done with a particular project, you can archive it so that people can no longer track time on it, but all its data will remain. The same thing happens with tasks when you mark them as done. Time and budget estimates for projects are a great way to set clear expectations with clients and accurately track your project progress. In a project settings, you can set both time and budget estimates. With a time estimate, you can set it manually for the whole project. Or you can set it as task-based, so that each task will have its own time estimate, allowing you to track progress for each task individually. If you opt for task-based estimates, go back to the task page and set the estimates for each task. Moving on, time estimates can be reset every week, month, or year at a specific time you agreed on with clients. And for the purpose of accurate progress tracking, choose if a time estimate will include non-billable time as well. Budget estimates work in the same way. You can set a total budget for the whole project, or it can be task-based. If you're working on retainer projects, you can mark that the estimates reset every month, week, or year. And finally, if the project has additional expenses, the budget can include billable expenses as well, which will then be extracted from the set budget. If your projects are billable and you have a dedicated budget for them, you'll need to set cost and billable rates in order to bill clients for your work. In Clockify, there are several rate types. Depending on how detailed you want to track your labor costs and revenues, you can set different rates. Billable rates are for tracking billable tasks and activities on projects, and cost rates are always applied giving you an insight into labor costs. Cost rates need to be enabled first to set them. The least specific rate is the workspace rate, followed by the members rate, projects rate, task rate, and then the most specific one is the project's member rate. The rule is that more specific rates override the less specific ones, so keep that in mind when you're setting things up. Note that task rates need to be enabled first before you set them up. For more information about rates and how they work in Clockify, you can check out dedicated tutorial. Once you set estimates and rates, you can then start tracking time and progress on projects. To check the progress of a project, go to the Status tab. Here you'll have an overview of tracked time, expenses, and the remaining budget. Based on whether you've set a time or budget estimate, 
the chart will look different. For the time estimate, it'll show you the total track time distinguishing between billable and non-billable. And for the budget estimate, the chart will show generated revenue or amount, recorded expenses, and what's left of the budget. If you've set task-based estimates, in the table below, you'll see a visual progress bar for each task. The forecasting feature allows you to forecast if and by how much you will go over the estimate. It takes into account tracked activities, scheduled activities, and estimates. Based on that data, you'll get a warning if it's forecasted that you'll go over an estimated budget or deadline. Then you can adjust your schedule or the estimates. You can switch between daily or weekly views and change dates if needed. You can learn more about scheduling in our other videos. Clockify can alert you if you get really close to your deadline or budget limits. To set such alerts, Go to the Workspace Settings and choose the Alerts tab. At the right corner, you can set a customized alert. For example, if a project or a task reaches 50% of an estimate, you can choose to alert project members, project managers, or Workspace admins. Now, when you reach that percentage, chosen people will get an email about the progress. In case you want to keep an internal log of the projects you're working on and their monthly progress, you can use filtering and exporting. In the Projects page, you can see multiple filters that'll help you display the projects that you want to see such as billable projects for a certain client. Click Apply Filter and Clockify will display the information you need. And if you want to export it, you can export the view in CSV or Excel format. And even customize the information to be included in the file by checking or unchecking the boxes next to the information type. If you click on the name or client column, projects and clients will be sorted out alphabetically. Or if you click on the column name with numerical values, the numbers will be sorted out from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. That'll be all for tracking your project's progress. To learn more about other Clockify features, make sure to watch our other tutorials. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.